Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So on Monday of this week, I released a video, and it was the PlayStation Homebrew News Roundup, and in it, I included a section on how to dump PS5 games via USB. So what I thought that I would do today is I thought that we would take a closer look at this and actually run it over on our PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and let's get started right now now okay so there was this github repo that came out by logic 68 and it was called pfs mount dumper and basically what this application does is is that if you have a playstation 5 game disc and maybe you would like to dump the contents of this over to a usb external hard disk drive well, then you could do so. So the very first thing that it would do would be with that it would dump the game disk or app zero, but also if you had any patches already installed, it would dump those two to a USB external hard disk drive. There was, again, no releases associated with this, but what I did mention was, was that you can actually download the release here, which will be in the description below. But also that this application or this payload is really based off of something that we saw over on the PlayStation 4 scene, which was the PS4 app dumper. So a very same kind of similar thing, but ported over to work with the PlayStation 5. So if you come over to mega.nz and you download this zip file right here, then you will get this once you extract it. Basically, you get the readme.md, which is the same exact thing that was in the GitHub, as well as the actual payload itself, which is just called PFS Mount Dumper App Zero Patch Zero dot Elf. Now, obviously, in order to run the Elf, you will need to exploit your system, and I typically use a program such as Netcat GUI to send over the payload. I already have a couple of videos where I describe and I talk about those if you need that information. But for now, the only other thing that you're really going to need is going to be a USB external hard disk drive and make sure that it is formatted as XFAT. So go ahead and take your USB hard disk drive, plug it into the back of your PlayStation 5 because it's got the faster speed ports back there and grab a game disc and let's get to dumping the game to our USB external hard disk drive. Okay, so back over on the PlayStation 5, as you can see here, I have went ahead and taken out my disc copy of Deathloop and inserted it into the drive and I currently have the game running right now. So once you do that with your game disc, you're going to want to just go ahead and go back to home. So now that game is currently running in its own sandbox. Now what we need to do is we need to actually run the exploit. So I'm going to go over to my user guide here and we're going to go ahead and take advantage of the URL redirector. We'll use Echo Stretch's site today and we'll go ahead and submit there. We'll go to PlayStation 5. And then we'll head back over to Spectre. And now it's going to go through the process of running the exploit. Now, once it gets to stage six, which is what it is on net right now, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to send over the payload that I talked about a little bit earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and inject the payload. And we do see that it does say that it is executing and our game is currently running. Okay, and so there is our first message that says welcome to the dumper. And now it is calculating the size of the PPSA, which is obviously this game right here and now it says debug and it is starting to copy over okay and now we get a progress indicator that tells us of exactly where we're at 
Now, one thing I'll note here is, is that the progress does appear to be at zero, but looking at the LEDs on the hard disk drive, I believe that there is progress that's being made. I'm not exactly sure why that indicator right now says 0%. So I'm going to just wait until it is all settled down and then I'll resume. Okay, so quite a bit of time has passed and I've learned that the payload that we ran is having a number of difficulties in extracting the language files off of that death loop copy. Now, there's obviously some workarounds to getting everything back off of the game disk through FTP, especially when you're having problems with the languages. But what I've decided to do is to go ahead and put another game in here, this time just called Curved Space, and see if it can dump this game successfully. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this game at least to the start menu, which is where I typically like to get it to before I run the exploit. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to home and we're going to go up to our settings and then we're going to go ahead and run that exploit again. Okay, and I'll go ahead and I will send the payload over again and it just says executing. There is the welcome message. Okay, this one also will be starting at zero progress. Let's see if it updates this time. Okay, so it has been a little over a minute. I still have not seen any additional notifications uh, pop up here. So I may have to be 100% reliant on the LED lights on the USB external hard disk drive. But I will give it some time and we will find out. And so eventually that did finish up and it does look like at least with this game, which was curved space, that it copied over successfully. Now with the game Deathloop, and let me navigate into that folder. And so now inside of Deathloop here, we do have a base and there is an audio folder, there is a configuration file, an additional file, and this is for the Brazilian Portuguese language. And we can see, well, it kind of errored out there or it stalled with a zero kilobyte. And so if you are wondering if whether or not I would personally use this payload to dump games, I might would try it, but I would probably stick to one of the more reliable methods of using at least FTP and doing it a bit manually, especially in regards to some of these that has problems with the language files on them. Well, anyway, I hope that that helps and you got something out of this. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!